Hey, what's up, internet homies? I, I wanted to jump in here and just address one thing I, I left kind of undone uh, in one of my previous videos about uh, abortion and race. Now, I was talking about how, um, as Jim Crow laws are to the 13th Amendment, so are Trim Crow laws to the uh, Roe versus Wade decision. And I'm gonna have to really make this quick because it's about to, I'm about to downpour on my fire escape. So, um, Trim Crow, these are uh, basically abortion access control, anti-abortion, uh, pro-life, or what I like to call uh, anti-slut laws. They're slut shaming women into not having sex. Uh, that, that, that's the intention. And, um, or if they're going to do it in wedlock into this traditional family values um, sort of view of life. Now, one of the things that I was, I, I'm, that occurred to me was, you know, yes, these laws are slut shaming women. Are they slut shaming men? Uh, not, not so much. I mean, the men who, I guess, if, if you impregnate a woman and you're out of wedlock and you have to pay alimony and you feel like that's, I don't know, some kind of slut shaming. I, I don't think it is. I think that's just basic human responsibility uh, that you would have to do anyway. And I do think that the instance of slut shaming for men is, is more rare, uh, mostly because men are shameless sluts. Uh, pretty much every man I've ever, ever met is a slut. Um, he would throw down immediately, it, it, you mean, ask the gay community. I mean, the frequency of sex uh, amongst guys who are ready to go is much higher. I, I don't know the numbers exactly, but I would say it's about 7,000% higher than uh, incels. I have been slut shamed uh, by my father. I'm sorry to say, I'm, I'll never forget the day I uh, I was having breakfast before high school. It was in my late teens, I think. And uh, he stopped me in the middle of eating some cereal. He said, hey, Kevin, I, I understand that you're having sex. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, I knocked on your door last night. He's like, oh yeah, I remember. I, I told you I'm, I'm having sex right now. I'm busy. Um, he was like, yeah, well, I have to say, Sarah, you know, I haven't talked to her parents. I don't know if it's okay with her. It's obviously okay with me. Uh, he was that kind of dad. Um, then he said, do you ever think about what the logical consequence of sex is, Kevin? The natural consequence? I said, orgasm, ideally. He said, no, it's, it's actually fatherhood. So are you ready to be a dad? Well, I'm definitely not finishing this cereal. Um, I was almost late to high school, uh, first period anyway at that point, and uh, I bounced. Now, if that's the worst slut shaming you get as a man or as a young man, I think uh, you're gonna be all right. Although it did shake me to my core, uh, and I did break up with, uh, with my paramour. Not long after that, um, it was mutual, you know. So anyway, a little, little tidbit about slut shaming. I just, I did want to make sure that people know that that's not just for women, uh, but it is rare for men. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hop inside before I get struck by lightning. Have a great uh, rest of your life. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on Kevin 19 not, You know what, don't, I'm not even gonna say it. Anyway, just uh, an uncle's perspective. Hope you enjoyed it.